Hello, I'm Mac Original. Welcome to my first City Skylines tutorial, where I will show you how to build realistic interchanges and intersections using tools like Intersection Marking Tool, Node Controller, and Traffic Manager. The mod collection is linked down in the panel. I figured the first tutorial should be something simple, like a low to medium density roundabout. First, we grab a road. And maybe four units? Yeah, four should be fine. Four, 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 and another four. Uh, Twenty units in each direction. I mean, it doesn't have to be that long, but for the purpose of the tutorial, let's go with 20. Oh, that's, that's not 20. And of course, the roundabout needs one-way roads. There we go. Now we need to prepare the four intersections using node controller. Starting up here, first we click that. You see, that makes all the connections straight. Then, in case we are building on a slope, so the sections in between don't get all lumpy and steep, we set it to slope. And we want to get rid of the crossings here. Also, the turn here is a little bit sharp, so let's set that to around, um, let's say 12. 12 should be fine. You simply hover over it and scroll with the mouse wheel. Oops. So, we got 12 here. Now we do the same with all the other intersections. So now we got all the clean connections with the nice turn. That's what we want. So, now we get to the fun part. Intersection marking tool. First, we add the pedestrian crossing here, because if we add the lines first and then the crossing later, it will draw above the lines and it will become very messy. So holding shift, click and click. There we go. Now the outline, holding shift again so we get a solid line. Same from that side and the inside. And the line in the middle. Of course, the distance between the lines that doesn't map the rest of the road. So we have to play with the space lane a little bit. Just move the mouse over and use the mouse wheel. That looks about right. So from here we want them to be able to go into both lanes. So we create a li line from here to here. But we want the empty line because we have different segments on that line we want to draw. 
to achieve that we hold alt and click so there is a line now but with no rule that's why it's in invisible and from the other side we could go from here to here but then the triangle here gets uh, not symmetrical but we want it to be symmetrical so let's draw another empty line from here to here holding alt bam and an empty line from here to here adding the first rule from here to here and I like to make that a dotted line but there is no dotted line in here what you can do is play with the dash length something like that and then you can use that button to save Save as template and the next button to load the template. I already created a dotted line, so I load that. So, next rule from here to here. Let's make that pavement. And okay, next rule from here to here. And I like to have a solid and dashed here. Make sure to set a solid in center, so you don't have this weird little offset. That looks much cleaner. And I don't like the original one, so I already got one that fits more. Solid and dash. So the, the dash line has a little bit less of uh, space in between. Now to the next one, add rule from here. Whoops. My, my push to talk button on the mouse is a little bit colliding with <laughs> with the game. I don't know why, but it's 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 fine. Make that pavement as well. Another rule from here to here. Pavement, but now we have this little gap here. We don't want that. So let's find that line, the crosswalk line, and add a rule from here to here and make it pavement. I said pavement. Okay, so now that gap is closed as well. And a line here as well. Maybe you can. It's, it's different in different counties, so you might you want to use the shark teeth. Or I prefer a stop line, which I already saved in my templates. Like so. Good. Now we're just missing a filler for in here because it still looks a little weird, right? What we do is hold Alt to create a new filler. Go from here to there, to there, to there, and there. And I like to fill that with grass. The elevation a little bit lower, so. Depending on the elevation where the road is built on it, it might glitch over the outer line of the pavement. So I always like to have the, the filler a, one low, a point one lower than the actual outline. Alright, and that leaves us with that result. Now, we don't have to do that on each intersection. So we hit uh, copy
then right click, left click here and paste. Now we rotate it in the right way, like that and apply. Good. So now we just need to connect these lines. So we select that, click here, hold shift for a solid line. Same here, right click, no, not right click. First copy, then right click, click here, paste. And there we go. Now we come to the functionality. For that we need the Traffic Manager President Edition. We click the road and this. And as we can see it's already set up how we want it. No pedestrian crossing here, yielding for the, for the roundabout. And there we go, we got a nice working roundabout. But of course it still looks a little bit bland. So signs, the pedestrian crossings on all intersections towards the middle are disabled. We actually don't need that sidewalk in the middle. Let's use surface painter and the clip too. Then jump in and find it. Network. I got these nice single sided crash barriers. Select them. Curve tool. Here to there and go all the way around like so. If they are facing the wrong direction, no problem. Upgrade tool, right click, and they are facing the right directions. Now you can decorate everything with a little bit of greenery or whatever you have in mind. Just be creative.
that's what I came up with, a more rural version of a roundabout. As mentioned earlier, the mods are linked in the description. And if you got any questions, suggestions, requests or other feedback, please put it in the comments. And if you like the tutorial, please make sure to like, subscribe and share with your friends. I see you next time, bye bye!